10. For the first time, we are seeing the immediate aftermath of a fire in the country's only nuclear waste dump. It happened just days before radiation leak that shut the place down and got whipped fined for hazardous waste violations. Action 7 News reporter Megan Cruz has the pictures and video you'll see only on 7. There never before seen photos and videos of the waste isolation pilot plant after a February fire. The U.S. Department of Energy says a salt truck burst into flames inside the mine. It took officials some time to make sure it was safe to go underground, but once they did, they took hundreds of pictures and shot video to help figure out what happened. You see energy officials focus on the truck. It's charred and covered in soot. As they walk around the mine, you see more fire damage. Investigators later said the truck caught fire after flammable materials on the truck got too close to a hot surface. Six workers that day were taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. At least one of those workers is now suing WIP. He claims to have developed some serious health problems following the fire. When I'm coughing, it gets so hard that my head hurts. It's like my brain is pounding. Just a few days later, there was a radiation leak in a different part of the facility. 22 workers were exposed to small amounts of radiation. Since then, the Department of Energy has been fined $54 million for hazardous waste violations. WIP has been closed ever since and may not resume operations until 2016. Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. We contacted the Department of Energy for comment on the story. They did not call us back. Our 25th annual Take the Pick Drive is filling up our studio with a winter coat.